Today we bring you nine of our best jokes of the week, one after another. In our first joke, we bring you a man whose wife passed away in the Holy Land. So, this man and his wife decided to go on holiday to Jerusalem. It wasn't long, and his nagging wife fell ill and suddenly died. The funeral director went to the man with a few options to bury his wife. The funeral director said to the man, Sir, it would cost about $45,000 if we send your wife back to the States if you want to bury her there, or $500 if we bury her here for you in Jerusalem. The man with a worried look on his face looked at the funeral director and replied, Ship her home. The funeral director then replied, But sir, why don't you just bury her here in the Holy Land and you can save money? The man answered, A long time ago a man was buried here, and three days later he rose from the dead. I just can't take that risk. <laughs> in the following joke, we bring you four fathers that are waiting in the maternity ward for their newborns. Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. Everyone very anxious to becoming a father for the first time when the nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're the father of twins. Very proud and confused, the first man replies, That's odd. I work for the Minnesota Twins. The nurse looks at the second guy and says, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. The second guy in complete shock answered, That's weird. I work for the 3M company. The nurse turns to the third guy and said, Congratulations, you're the father of quadruplets. The man almost fainted and lost for words says, that's very strange. I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man looks at them and starts to cry. What's wrong? The others ask. Well, you won't believe this. I work. At 7-Up. <laughs> Our next hilarious joke is about people arriving at the gates of heaven. The angel was on duty at the gates of heaven when a nun approached. Tell me, what kind of life you have led on earth? I was a nun, she answered. See that big cloud over there? Go and sit on it, and here is a harp, said the angel. The next day, an old lady came to the gates, and the angel asked, Tell me, what kind of life you have led on earth? Well, I brought up six children to the best of my ability, she replied. Well, take this harp and go sit on that white cloud over there, the angel says. The next one to approach the angel was a brunette woman. Come, my dear, what kind of life did you lead on earth? I was a prostitute, said the woman. Oh, said the angel, see that black cloud over there? Go and sit on that. Well, what about my harp? Never mind the harp, I'll be up in a moment with the horn. <laughs> Our next joke is about a blonde that goes to a football game for the first time. A guy takes his beautiful blonde girlfriend to her first football game. They had great seats right behind their team's bench. She watched the game in silence. After the game, he asked her how she liked the experience because she was so quiet and never showed any emotion, and he got worried. Oh, I really liked it, she replied. Especially the tight pants and all the players have big muscles but I just couldn't understand why they were killing each other over 25 cents. Dumbfounded with what the blonde woman just said, her boyfriend asked, what do you mean? Well, before they started, they flipped a coin and one team got it. Then for the rest of the game, all they kept screaming was, get that quarterback, get that quarterback. I just could not understand it. Shame these poor guys. I mean, it was only 25 cents. The following joke is about an open seat at a very important basketball game. It's the basketball season and a man make his way to his executive seat. He sits down, noticing the seat next to him is empty. He leans over and asks the guy next to him if someone will be sitting there. No, says the guy next to him. The seat is empty. This is incredible, said the man. Who in their right mind would have a seat like this for the final and not use it? The guy next to him says, Well, actually, the seat belongs to me. I was supposed to come with my wife, but she passed away. This is the first game we haven't been to together since we got married. 
Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's terrible. But couldn't you find someone else, a friend, a relative, or even a neighbor to take her seat? The man shakes his head. No, he says. They're all at my wife's funeral. <laughs> the next very funny joke is about a barber shop and a guy getting his hair cut. Should you always pay for your services? Well, modern society teach us that we should, but will there be an exception to this rule? Here might just be one. This barber was busy with a client's hair when the client jumped up and ran out of his shop. This barber rushed out of his barber shop to find a police officer walking by. Have you seen a guy just now? Running out of my shop, he asks the officer. No, said the officer, but what have the guy done? The barber said that the man ran out without paying him for cutting his hair. The officer then asks the barber what the man looks like. The barber replied, well, his hair is cut short on the one side and long on the other side, as I haven't cut that side yet. Oh, said the barber, and he was carrying an ear in his hand. <laughs> now we bring you a joke about who is drinking what. Are you concerned about your health? Well, here is what you need to consider if you want to improve your health. Now, did you know that the Mexicans drink more tequila than the English? but they have fewer heart attacks than the English. The Japanese, on the other hand, drink less tequila than the English, and they also have fewer heart attacks than the English. Now, let's look at the French. They drink more wine than the English, but they have less heart attacks than the English. The Spanish, on the other hand, drink less wine than the English, and they also have less heart attacks than the English. By now, I guess you have figured out how to decrease your chance of having a heart attack and improve your health. Stop speaking English. <laughs> now our next joke is about a taxi driver that get a very big scare. The passenger in a taxi taps the taxi driver on the shoulder to ask him something. The driver screams, loses control of the vehicle, almost crashes into a bus, swerves over a sidewalk, and stops millimeters from a shop window. For a few moments, there is a dead silence in the taxi. Then the taxi driver said, don't ever do that again. I almost scared myself to death. The passengers apologize and say that he really didn't think that a tap on the shoulder would startle him like that, let alone almost killing them both. I'm very sorry, said the taxi driver. It's not your fault. It just happened so suddenly. Today is my first day as a taxi driver. For the last 20 years, I have driven a hearse for a funeral service. <laughs> Our last joke of the day is about a new government grant. Very funny. But before we go, thanks for watching our jokes. If you press that subscribe button, then you will be notified when our new jokes are released. Once again, thank you so much. Here we go. The government announced that if you have five kids, you automatically get a government grant of $4,000 a month. A man who was struggling financially heard this and says to his wife, this is great news. Now I can finally tell you about that affair I had. I have another child, which you don't know about. But it's okay, honey. Now I can go fetch him and he can come and live with us. We can then qualify for that $4,000 a month. Early that next day, the man went to fetch the child from his lover and brought the child home. When he got home with the new child, he noticed that his other four children were not home. Where's the children, he asked his wife. The wife, with a smile on her face, replied, Did you really think you were the only one having an affair? Their fathers came to fetch them.